What's up fellow anglers? Aaron LeSueur back here on The Truth. And today, hitting the Delta. Yep, it's been nine months since I fished with this guy right here on the Delta, on his bass boat, the Bass Cat. And we're fueled up with some coffee, donuts, like last time, that's pretty much what we do. Stop for some donuts, make some lattes, get the sugar high and some caffeine and try to just go rip some lips on some big bass. We're heading over to B&W Resort. The Delta's pretty much the only waterway that's open right now in this whole shelter in place craziness. So we're gonna get out here today and try to catch some big bass. We were hoping for some different weather. Here's your weather report right here. And we're in the middle of the spawn. I brought a bunch of spawning gear and it's cloudy. It said partly cloudy today, but it's pretty much all cloudy right now. We're hoping for some of these clouds to open up. The other problem is we're gonna have the wrong tide. We're coming in on, the, we got an incoming tide. It's pretty high, I think it's like three feet. I'll show you a tide chart here as well so you can see what tides we have today. I need the low tide to bed fish. We gotta be able to see those fish and now the water's gonna be up so it's gonna be a little challenging today with no sun. We're hoping it comes out and the wrong tide. So I brought, I tried to keep it pretty minimal. I got a frog, a drop shot, and then I got a couple bed fishing rods set up. I'll show you all that stuff later. And then, so we're gonna get out here, try to catch some big bass, run around. It's been a long time since I've been on the Delta. No clue what's going on out here. Haven't read any of the forums, no fishing reports. Just gonna kind of go on history and how I've caught them out here in the past. So stick around. We're hoping we're gonna have to yell grab the net and catch some big ones. Show you where we catch them, how we do it. Let's get out there. Let's fire up the big motor and go catch some big bass. Stay tuned. So, could be. That's really cleaned off, huh? Oh, I got bit right there. Oh, I got a bluegill. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look at that thing. <laughs> oh shit. Get over here, get over here. Oh yeah, first fish. The Delta Monster Bluegill. Look at that guy. That's funny. What the heck is that? It looks like. Uh oh. Oh, I'm getting bit. Got him. Got him. You got him. Oh, it feels like a fucking perch, dude. I think it's a perch. What? That's bass. a bass. That's a bass. That's a bass. Oh, a little guy. Got a little bass. Got a little bass. On my new rig. My All right. Shot first, rig. first bass of the day. Damn. Yeah, a one pounder. Nice. So we're just back here on this little cove, throwing some drop shots. It's not very windy back here. We still got the cloud cover. We've been fishing for at least an hour. It's our first fish in the boat. Not a big one, but that's a start. Another one? <laughs> Another little one pounder. We're on the one pounders. <laughs> Another one pounder on the drop shot here. Lots of small males up in this small little cove. Oh, you got him. <laughs> I 
Another one on the... Oh, Wait, is that the regular Senko? Regular Senko. Yeah. Well, there's fish back here, just not into the, any of the big ones. We made a move. We've been fishing Middle River, just kind of throwing Sankos around and drop shots, frogs. Can't really got anything going. Decided to come into Mildred. We're waiting for the sun to come out so we can do a little sight fishing. Steven threw the whopper plopper out there within the first, I don't know, a couple minutes. He got a, a little one on there, a little one and a half pounder. But it's a start. Messing around on here. Hopefully the sun comes out. We want to put our eyes on some big ones. We're going to keep throwing the plopper around, drop shot if that plopper bite keeps going on. I have to throw my little uh, sprinker frog on there. It's got that little spinning tail on it. So, all right, that's fish number four. We're going to keep going. Yeah, because I can't see shit. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, another little one pounder. We're on the one pounder uh, pattern right here. Oh my gosh, the little guy. That was a long time between bites. <sighs> We're covering a lot of a lot of water, whopper plopper, chatterbait. Sun's starting to come out. We're trying to move in closer, look for beds. Not even sure we'll even find any. Still inside here, and Mildred just kind of making our way along the shore. And a little, little guy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> got it. Got it. Got it. Oh! <laughs> oh, dang, I had her. Oh, you barely had her, though. My fellow anglers that's a wrap for today wasn't exactly what we were wanting we were hoping to come out here get some calmer weather well it was calm in the morning it got windy towards the afternoon but we needed some sunny weather we wanted to put our eyes on some big ones and try to bed fish the weather just didn't cooperate the weather report said it was going to be partly cloudy and it was pretty much cloudy all day except for the maybe the last like two hours of our day we ended up starting at bnw going down to Middle River and then going into Mildred because I know from prior years they, that a lot of fish get in there and spawn. And towards the end, we did see a couple nice ones on some beds. The first one, couldn't get her to go at all. The second one, we got her to go really quick and then I lost her. So I had my chance at just one today. I didn't catch, I caught one 10 incher and a bluegill. Steven did all the damage. I'm not gonna go over all the rods because we really didn't have a pattern. We were catching, I think, a lot of fry garters for the most part, especially when we were in Mildred. But he, we, he caught them on chatterbait, a frog, a wacky rig Senko, uh, the whopper plopper. I think that's pretty much all we caught them on. And then I had that one bed fish, that was just a flipping bait. So a bunch of random stuff. There's a bunch of fish still out there spawning. There were fish out there guarding fry. You can catch them a bunch of different ways, obviously. I got a few locations on there where I've shown you where the bed the fish were bedded up. So you can come out here if you're looking for bed fish. But we just caught a bunch of, lot, a lot of big males, or not big males, a lot of males. No, none of the big females, we were trying all kinds of stuff. So it was fun to get out here. I don't know if I'm gonna get back out here anytime soon. I know I'm gonna probably get back on the paddle board before I get back out on the boat. We'll see when this guy can get another day off. And then maybe we'll try to come back out here when the weather is a little warmer 
no clouds and we can look at them all day and try to go search for them in these protected um, these islands should still have a whole bunch of fish out there on bed so anyways good day we we're out there from about 8 30 to 3 30 a lot of fun always any questions throw them down in the comments hit me up on instagram but uh, i got more content coming so i'll see you got all of you out there soon i'm aaron lasseur this is steven lasseur this is the truth stay focused fish hard and we'll see you out on the water